What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. It's weekly reset time, so let's go over all of the things that are new for this week as well as the gear that is available from the vendors. As you guys can see, we are in Season 2 already and the Curse of Osiris has gone live. As you can tell, Mercury's right here. So we're going to start with the milestones first. We have the Flashpoint on the EDZ. If you complete this on the Heroic version, you'll... Uh, Get more percentage to it. The Nightfall this week is the Inverted Spire. Modifiers on that are Attrition, as well as Time Warp Killing Time. And we have 11 minutes and 58 seconds to do that. Attrition reads, Health and Shield Regeneration slow down, but Killing Foes may create Wells of Light that restore health and charge your super. Time Warp Killing Time reads, Defeat enemies to extend its mission timer up to a limit. Then we have Leviathan, which you need to complete the Leviathan Raid. Then we have Clan XP, uh, Strike Challenges, which you need to complete three Strike Challenges, Call to Arms, Curse of Osiris, which you need to complete uh, Mission, the Gateway on Mercury, as well as the Heroic Strikes, which, yes, they are returning. So, as always, we are going to start with Tess Everest to find out what gear she has this week. So, let's go see it. For the emotes, we have the Timely Dance. You guys get the logist of it. This is actually kind of a long dance. <laughs> then we have Call Me. Next, we have Solo Stand. For a uh, speeder. Looks pretty cool. Then we have uh, Hardtop Regent. Pretty cool looking ship. And then we have the Amphistein ship. <laughs> Actually looks pretty badass. Then we have the Book of the Dead ornament for the Vigilance Wing. As well as the Eye of Osiris for the Prometheus Lens, which is the solar version of the Cold Heart. Armor of the Week is Boots, and we have the Omega uh, Mechanos Boots. As for the ghost, we have the gray tiger shell. And then we also have transmat effects. So whenever you spawn into somewhere, these effects actually get applied. As for shaders, we have the Fermius Blue, which is a returning one from Season 1. Next, we have the uh, Desert of Gold. And then we have the uh, Metallic Sunrise. And we also have the Fire Team Medallion. So, all major vendors actually have new items and they actually have ornaments for the uh, armor that they have. The Xenos uh, ornaments are all with Zavala. I'm going to go through those real quick. And they actually have challenges or little requirements that you need to do in order to obtain them. Lord Shax also has uh, ornaments. Uh, 
And I'm not going to lie, this helmet actually looks pretty badass. As for the gunsmith, he actually only sells more weapon mods. And most likely the weapon mod a lot of people are just going to want is the weapon attack mod for your kinetic and exotic weapons. And these also has requirements. You need mod components, which actually, god damn, you need five and then ten legendary shards. That's ridiculous. I don't know if you guys want to just take your chances or not with uh, just these. Try to get one, but... Fuck. If there's a definite one you want, then you need five uh, mod components. Good luck. Factions also have uh, these wonderful ornaments. This is what future War Cults uh, ornaments looks like. Here are the boots. Arms. Chest. And I'm not going to lie. I actually like the uh, the chest piece for uh, Future War Cold, except for that BS F that's just like dead in the center of your chest. I mean, they couldn't make it like a little smaller F. And here is the helmet. Here is Dead Orbit. And after so much loss, we remain strong. Back from the wilds, Guardian. Benedict99 also has ornaments for uh, gear as well. So they actually still have uh, challenges that you do need to complete in order to actually get them. Don't forget to visit Cade 6 in order to get your treasure maps. I have already got mine, so yeah. I got all the EDZ treasure maps, Jesus. Also, don't forget to go visit Hawthorne to get your clan banner. And I think that's pretty much it. And that, fellow Guardians, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.